The Express now. It seems EasyJet have some predictions about future travel. Will they ever invent the ability to be able to move our seats back? Leo. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is some good science. EasyJet has predicted 3D printed buffet breakfasts and hologram staff by 2070. They've done right. some sort of futurology. I mean, to be honest, I don't know if you've ever bought food on an EasyJet flight. It's quite expensive. You've got to pay for it in euros, which feels... I thought, I thought we voted. I thought we voted for Brexit to get rid of that. That's the final step for you, is it? That's, yeah. That's when Brexit's I'm, done. I'm is not, it's in what are, for bacon sandwich Leo, euros. What are 3D printed buffet breakfasts? What does that mean? They are probably quite nasty. So, what does it mean? It's like a nozzle. Trek, isn't it, maybe? So a fondant, basically a, a food fondant comes out of a nozzle and okay. it builds up layers. So say, for example, you've got a cheesecake, it'll la put layers of biscuit down and then layers of, uh, of cheesecake. Just give me a cheesecake. Yeah, well, it would be quicker and easier to just give you a cheesecake. But this way, uh, the fondant, the, the food, mushed food can be stored in a, you know, uh, in a Small bag yeah, for, I mean, this is for horrible. ages. Also, yeah. hologram stuff. I don't want that because they'll have AI in them. and they'll, they'll... There is some cool stuff. There's the uh, heart thing. So everybody's got there and an individual biometric heart pattern. Yes. So you won't need passports. You'll just walk through a sensor, yeah. an un unseen sensor, and then you, you won't need passports anymore. And Because that'll be a shame, because I'm about to get my blue passport. Don't want to give that up already. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I'm not as confident as you guys. I think this is all... So I hate progress. OK, so...